a new problem for Peloton owners, hacks. So uh, there's a new model. It's like their, their $2,500 bike that a lot of uh, community spaces will usually purchase like uh, apartment complexes, hotels, whatever. Um, but apparently it's vulnerable to hacks. And so uh, there are some talks of people making apps that look like Netflix or Spotify or something to steal people's login credentials. Um, what do you guys think about the story? What's a Peloton? Sorry. It's a bike. I got to claim ignorance here. It's a, bike. It's, a, it's a fancy bike. It's like a $5,000 stationary bike. Wow. And then, no, that's the cheap part. And then they try to hook you into like a $200 a month subscription to where uh, you join live cycling classes that are run by real people. And every now and then they mention your username. Yeah, I would expect such a company to have 15 user user stops. 20 users. No. The, the things that rich people buy for exercise are silly. What's interesting with this hack is that it is literally the second time in like what two months that we've talked about Bell Peloton. They've had a uh, there was a data leak or a, a data API leakage or something like that a couple months ago. So um, yeah, IoT security. Is a bike a team? I mean, it, it's the Internet of Things, but like it's got more processing power than most people's like laptops. So, yeah, it's a good question. Internet of bikes makes you wonder what it's running on. Did they run their own OS? I hope not. Can you imagine that? I hope so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got this yeah. great thing nope. called a smartphone, and it turns any exercise device into a smart exercise device. Yeah. It's funny. We used to make fun of every device with an IP address. Now we make it fun of every device with an app store. It's unnecessary. It's not necessary. I, I got, uh, during the height of the pandemic, I got an elliptical. I got it from um, Nordatrack. And they were pushing so hard their their iFit and their iFit was like some internet connected like personal trainer thing. I was like, no, like you're a barely functional exercise machine. Like, don't try to be smart. <laughs> like, I'm all for dumb machines. Like, let's bring back some dumb machines, like coffee makers that just make coffee. 